Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the tutelage.com. And uh, guys, last time we created our very first class called Manage Users. And inside it, we created the first method to register our users. So in this video, we would be going ahead and we would be creating two more methods. And guys, every time I say method, I actually mean functions. So if you are you know, creating functions without a class, we will call them functions. But anytime I'm calling a method, you can actually, you know, uh, understand yourself that I'm uh, talking about functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this particular line, okay? And out here, I'm going to create one more method. I'm going to name this to, uh, say, login users. <clears throat> so every time you want to log in a user, we need their username and their password, okay? These are the only two things we require in order to log in any user. Uh, then I'm going to say dollar $query uh, will be equals to dollar this link again this link is actually a reference to this particular variable we created on the top and every time we're gonna you know make an instance of this class uh this particular variable gonna be equals to our connection okay so we are you know just passing our connection variable first then i'm gonna say run a query and the query gonna be select all from users where <coughs> username is equals to dollar username uh, and password <clears throat> will be equals to dollar password okay then I'm going to say dollar row count will be equals to dollar query uh, a row count so guys uh, if a person will enter the uh, right credentials like the right username and the right password this particular variable will be equals to one Okay, because we are counting how many rows have been, uh, I would say, affected because of this query. So if these two things be correct, then we're gonna, you know, get one as a result. Then I'm gonna say return uh, dollar row count here. Okay, our very next method gonna be uh, function get user info, and uh, very soon you guys gonna came to know why we are doing that. So I'm going to pass only one parameter that's going to be the username. So uh, I'm going to say dollar query will be equal to that, this link query. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to say select all from users where uh, username is equal to dollar username. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to you know, count the rows once again. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to say if dollar row count is equals to equals to one, that means you actually found one result uh, from this particular query on the top. Let me go ahead and do one thing. Create a new variable, make it result, and make it equals to uh, dollar query, and fetch everything for that user. So I'm going to say fetch all. So it will, you know, make an array for us with all the information uh, related to this particular username. So and if you're not able to find any result, then go ahead, uh, return dollar row count. Okay, and here I can say result, return result. So these, uh, you know, this way we are able to get the information about one user, and this way we are logging, we are able to log in the users. Uh, guys, next thing we would be going ahead and we would be creating the front end file in order to register or log in any users and uh, in order to take care of design we would be using twitter bootstrap so i have bootstrap open out here you guys can actually you know read the entire documentation the people have very awesome you know designs for every single thing so for now uh what we need you know uh would be quite simple uh we need some form elements like some labels and some buttons and we also need, you know, some header designs. So I'm gonna go to the overview tab and I'm gonna download it. Just save it. Then I'm gonna say open container folder. I'm gonna, you know, take it away from here. And I'm gonna paste it inside here. <coughs> Extract it. I'm gonna, you know, delete the zip file. And out here, I'm gonna create uh, let's say a folder called CSS first. Then I'm going to create a new file. 
uh, with the name of uh, login.php or registration.php, whatever you guys want to name it. Uh, I'm going to name it to login.php. I'm going to start with very basic HTML markup. Uh, here for the title, we can say uh, to do maple. And we can, you know, reference to the jQuery 1.7.1. Uh, and for the style sheet, I can say CSS slash style.css, though we haven't created it. Uh, next thing, we need to, you know, include their particular style sheet. So I'm going to uh, include bootstrap.css file out here on the top. <clears throat> and here I'm going to say bootstrap slash CSS slash bootstrap.css. I believe that's what it is. Yes, uh, so guys, and always make sure that you're including this particular file on the top because if you need to write any kind of style to override the initial styles provided by Bootstrap, uh, your file needs to be, uh, you know, after this one. So never put this one on the top, otherwise, you will not able to override their styles. Okay, so if you want to override their styles at some point of time, you need to include your style sheet after theirs uh, out here. What we would be doing is quite simple. Uh, let's go to components. And I can go to navigation. Uh, I need a nav bar. And I'm going to copy everything from here. <clears throat> OK. I'm going to paste it here. Let's make it the way it needs to be. Here. OK, guys. So this way, we are able to create our very simple nav bar but without writing any single uh, line of CSS. So I'm going to do this. And out here, we need, you know, uh, some kind of a title. So we can probably uh, get from here, a class brand. So I'm going to paste that here. <clears throat> like this. And for the project name, I'm going to say to do maker. Uh, and if you guys have, uh, you know, any awesome names, you can use that particular one. So come back here. Uh, I'm going to run the login.php file. And you guys can actually notice we already have our navbar on the top. But, you know, I actually don't like these rounded corners out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, open my own style sheet out here. I'm going to create one very first with style.css okay and here uh, we can actually read out the source code using Firebox. so here it says there is a class called navbar inner which have you know a border radius to four pixels so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy its name and here i'm going to paste it i want to say border radius uh, to zero pixel and uh, we can do the same for the mouse and for the webcam so here i'm gonna say mouse and here for the webcam and guys you know it's always a good practice never to you know uh, change their style sheet because at any point of time you might need to make changes so never you know make changes to their style sheet just go ahead and write your own style if you want to override anything so now you guys can actually see we don't have that rounded corners out here on the left on, and on the right and the next thing we need to do is we need to create, you know, uh, registration and a login form inside the same page. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is here, uh, not here. Uh, I'm going to say div ID content. Okay. And I'm going to say and content. And uh, <clears throat> Here I'm going to create one more uh, dev. I'm going to say dev ID form. I'm going to say end form. And guys, uh, <clears throat> like, you know, very first create uh, h2. And I'm going to say uh, register here. Okay. And then I'm going to say dev with a class to form elements. You know, some very basic styling part, nothing too fancy. Uh, next thing, uh, I'm going to create a label first. I'm going to say label for 
the username okay uh, here I can say uh, input type text name would be username well you won't be anything an ID to username um, we can you know do it one more time here we can actually you know grab their email okay I'm gonna say email and email here and here I can say password and I'm gonna say password and password here and we need it one more time for the submit button so uh, we don't need any label this time uh, I'm gonna say input type to submit uh, with a name to register and ID to register and guys we need one more thing they're gonna be the class so I'm gonna say class to a button then a button success okay so come back refresh the page and you guys will see we already have you know very nice looking green color button if you guys want to read more about them you can you know actually go to buttons say here they are then there would be you know some more out here on the bottom you can actually read about them okay so we created a very simple green color button and you know here are our input fields with some you know awesome box shadow every time we're gonna fo focus on them then we need to write our own styles so i want to divide the content here to have a width to 600 pixels with a margin to auto to center everything on the page and uh, uh, then i'm going to say divide the form you know we'll have a padding to say 10 pixels with a background color to a nicer gray probably a seven and a butter to one pixel solid uh, gray and if you guys want we can put it give it some butter radius as well okay so that's a butter radius to four pixels and copy it for Mars and webkit as well so i want to say webkit and here would be our moss <coughs> So right here we have our you know very first uh, registration form and on the bottom uh, if you want we can have the login form or we can have it on the very left hand side but we are not worried about it very first we want to make some registrations from here <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go to my login.php file uh, here I'm going to say form with a method to post actually let it be to the same page and I'm going to cut it from here and I'm going to paste it here. <clears throat> I believe that's all we need. And you know, guys, on the very top, uh, I can include a new file that we would be creating in a moment. Uh, I'm going to say include once libs slash login users.php. So <clears throat> come back, create a new folder with the name libs, and create a new file inside it. Ah, we don't need a text file. Okay, that's fine. Then here I'm gonna say PHP. Uh, very first, I'm gonna you know check out if a person is hitting the register button. So I'm gonna say if the set dollar post uh, register, if this particular button has been you know pressed, <coughs> uh, then go ahead and make some you know variables very first. I'm gonna say dollar username will be equal to dollar post username uh, dollar password gonna be equals to dollar post password and the email gonna be equals to dollar post email okay uh, next thing we would be doing is uh, we would be checking whether these values are empty or not so uh, I, ca I can say if empty dollar username or empty uh, dollar email uh, or empty password okay and guys you know we haven't created one field but we would be creating it right now I'm gonna say if empty dollar uh, read password okay and here on the top I can say dollar read password so that'll be equals to post variable call read password okay and uh, back to login.php file 
And I can, you know, make one more copy of it. And I'm going to make this one too. Maybe password. Rename. And here as well. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so if they are, uh, you know, actually equal to null, then I'm going to create a variable called dollar error. And they're going to be equal to please enter uh, uh, probably, you know, all fields are required. All fields are required. Then I can say else if dollar um, password is not equals to dollar read password. Okay, then we can let the user know that you know your password is not matched. So we can say uh, password does not match. And you know, guys, the next check we need to make for uh, that would be email. Whether we can make uh, a print match to you know make sure whether it's uh, matching to the format an email needs to be. Otherwise, we can use a very awesome PHP inbuilt function called validate. Uh, you know any kind of a uh, variable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say else if uh, not filter dollar email and you know which kind of a validation you want so i'm going to say filter uh i'm probably going to validate email that's what we need to do so this way we are you know able to make a check whether uh their email is correct or not so i can say dollar error will be equals to uh email is not valid okay so if they are able to actually you know pass everything from here then we're gonna you know go ahead and make one more check uh, then I'm going to say else, probably I can say else here, and then, you know, I can write an if statement, and that if statement going to be equals to one of the methods we created out here. So very first, I'm going to include this class here. Uh, I'm going to say uh, include once, that would be, you know, uh, classes slash class dot manage users dot PHP. <coughs> And you know, instead of creating an instance out there, I'm gonna create it out here. And this particular file, uh, I'm gonna say dollar users will be equals to this particular uh, class. So we are we are creating a new instance of this class. Uh, then I'm gonna do else. Uh, I'm gonna say dollar check availability. You know, guys, we're gonna make a check whether this. Uh, username already exists or not because if a username already exists we don't want to do any kind of a duplication so <clears throat> i'm going to say get user info we're going to make it equals to this particular method and we're going to pass in our username so this particular method will go ahead and it will make a check whether uh, it is able to get any result for this username or not and if the row count is equal to zero that means we can create uh like we can probably do one more registration with that username but if the row count is equal to one that means this particular username already exists so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say if dollar checkup availability uh is equals to equals to zero that means we can do a registration else uh, i can say dollar error will be equal to uh, username already exists okay <clears throat> and out here uh, if the username does not exist we can actually you know uh, I can say a register user and here I can say uh, we can call this particular method out here register users so let me copy it from here and guys I'm gonna you know pass one more parameter so after username, uh, I'm gonna say dollar email because that time you know we never thought about getting an email, but later I thought you know uh, it would be good if we can get it. So I'm gonna say dollar email here. Okay, so that will solve our, solve our problem. So I'm gonna copy it from here and back to login users, and I'm gonna run this particular function. So the username will be equal to the one we are creating here. We have the email, we have the password. Uh, now we need IP address, the time, and the date. So uh, here I want to say dollar IP address would be equal to dollar server uh, remote address. 
and I'm going to say dot of date will be equals to date uh, y m and d and here I can say dot of time will be equals to day and here I can say you know h i s that will be you know hours minutes and seconds and here we can I can say like this uh, y and d I believe guys we are all done and one more thing uh, you know every time we are returning uh, I, I'm really sorry every time we are calling this uh, function and if you are you know able to make a registration we are returning how many rows have been affected so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say f dollar register user is equal to equal to one that means we are able to make a registration then go ahead and we're gonna you know uh, run this function once again so instead of check availability I'm gonna say uh, make sessions so because in order to create any sessions regarding this user we obviously need their information so uh, I'm gonna say make sessions and let me print it out here so I'm gonna say print r and I'll make sessions okay guys i believe that's all we need we can probably go ahead and we can make a registration and let's see whether we will get into some errors or not so here we'll refresh the page uh one more thing i'm really sorry left as every time we have an error we have to echo this particular where we able as well so uh out here uh on the top probably here uh i can say php note it here yes uh, is set dollar error then go ahead and echo and we're gonna you know grab something from bootstrap once again so probably we need some <coughs> miscellaneous stuff come here on the top we need these you know error classes so I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here like this and here I'm gonna say dollar error and a semicolon at the end of the statement. Come back, refresh the page. Let's hit submit query. It says all fields are required. Awesome. So I'm gonna say a user name to Bob again, like the one we created last time. And uh, I'm gonna say email to mine. And here I'm gonna say a password. Oh, we have something funny here. Uh, because for the password, we need to make uh, you know an input type equals to password. And uh, password here. I'm really sorry, guys. So password, I'm gonna say my name, my name, hit submit query. We have some funny error. It says call to an undefined function filter on line number 25. So that's probably here. Uh at the time of you know validating the email. Uh you know, probably I believe we need a filter one. So hit again, it says undefined variable user on line number 31 and the call to a member function. Okay. Define where we have a what okay because it's users, not user. It's our mistake. So let's make this one to users, this one to users, and your users as well. Okay, so guys, there were a lot of errors. Refresh once again, it says username already exists. That's awesome. If you will go back to the, my database, uh, I'm gonna go to to do, and if you always know, will notice out here inside the users, I, will, I already have a user with the name Bob. So uh, and I'm gonna try something different. What is it, Kevin? Uh, what is this? That's not coming. Okay. Okay. My name. Let's submit. Uh, okay. It says PDO executed in valid valid parameter. Oh my gosh. These are very serious dangerous errors we have on line number 17 out here uh you know it's execute i'm not sure why it's doing that because last time it did it actually for us so refresh no, we don't have anything let me check it out uh, okay i got it guys because you know we are we are actually passing six values here and here we have only five caution marks. That's my mistake. I'm really a bad guy. So refresh once again. Uh, nothing here. 
I'll just try, try one more time. Sorry, uh, email to my email. And password. Nothing zero. Great. Check it out here. Nothing zero as well. Why is something funny happening with us? Uh, it's returning count. <coughs> Come back here. So registry user is equal to this username, email, password, IP address, date, and time. So we have date, time up here on the top. We have IP address. We have password, email, username, everything. Uh, hey guys, I actually put the video on pause and you know scold me as much as you guys can because. I don't have any field with a name of email and I'm trying to insert email here. Seriously, I'm the stupid person ever in this world. Okay, so what I'm going to do is inside the structure, I'm going to create one more field. I want to say after username and uh, make this one equals to email, a var chart 250, create it. And if this time it's not going to work, I want to kill myself. Seriously, refresh. Uh, let's say uh, username to my name this time. Uh, I hate when they don't show me my email. I have to write gmail.com. My name. My name. Okay, awesome. We have our very first array out here which contains every single information about me. So if I'll come back here, I have the registration done for, with my name and I have all the value in an array for me. So probably I can go ahead and I can use this array to create uh, sessions for me. So what we need to do is instead of doing this funny print R, uh, uh, I'm going to say for each dollar uh, make sessions. No. Yeah, I believe that's fine. Uh, as a dollar user sessions and I'm gonna say you know dollar underscore uh, session uh, name or you know probably I can say true do name is equals to uh, user session user name okay <clears throat> because guys this particular array is you know uh itself inside an array so i have first array then i have an array then inside that i have all the values so what i'm doing is i'm running a very simple for each to break this particular array then there is one more array so i'm not running any for each for that i'm actually passing the parameter that i want so i want the uh, i want actually the key username so the key username here gonna be equals to my name okay that's all we need and then I can say uh, if is set dollar session my spelling is wrong I actually got it on the top uh, use to do name that means if you're able to create it go ahead and kick the person to the index page <clears throat> so uh, that's fine Uh, I can say, you know, header location to index.php. Okay, and out here on the top, I can say session start. Now, guys, what I'm doing is every time I'm making a registration, I'm actually, you know, heading the person uh, to, to the main page. If you guys want, don't do it. Just show them a very, you know, good message. Hey, dude, you are already registered. If you want, go ahead and nothing. You can do all that stuff. But what I feel is, you know, once a person is registered, go ahead and kick them to your main, you know, page where you're, where they need uh, supposed to be. So <clears throat> make one more registration. Uh, let's try Kevin this time. Uh, probably my buddy Andy. He have been creating a lot of tutorials for me these days. So uh, at the rate gmail.com, password going to be my name. And you know, I have been redirected to index.php that we haven't created. We have one more registration here. But guys, if you will notice, I have you know some really plain passwords out here. So probably you know we can add one more thing here. 
uh, we'll copy it from here and, 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 and here I can see download password I'm gonna be md5 download password okay and try one more registration probably go back refresh uh, let's say it's 92 uh, here I can say my email again a lot of registration with my email uh, probably just time I can try a different password and hit refresh it says password does not match my okay try this okay uh, let's say my name okay it you know redirected me towards that page and uh, oh my gosh again it's a plain password uh, let me check it out I'm the biggest fool ever I believe I have to do it anyway okay guys so you can probably test it from your side because the video is getting already lengthy and if you find any kind of bugs go ahead and do let me know because I haven't tested this particular page properly so you can go ahead and let me know in comments if there are any bugs we're gonna solve it next time and we're gonna create our login form as well so i'm gonna see you guys next time goodbye